Hello folks and a happy new year. As you can see I recovered from my flu so feeling way better now um, but I'm not going to do any more daily videos because those are a lot of work and it's really hard um, to show you new things. Um, but there will be some videos like today where we'll show you some uh, of the cool software projects there are for the Pandora. The Pandora has started to ship again, more units are being built right now. The uh, production in Texas is finally going well it seems. Um, and the uh, last naps for the first batch will be finished on January 17th. So finally it looks like things are moving again. And well, let's start with today's video. Okay, so let's start with some uh, nice thing Ergerman did and that is Winbox. Winbox basically is a version for DOSBox which he optimized for Windows 3.1. So let's start that one. Of course you can make the window bigger here, move it around. And there you go, there's Windows 3.1. Um, I just saw today that um, someone did also make a Windows 3.1 port with, or not port, made it running with a QM on the Pandora, which was way faster. Um, he was even able to uh, run Civilization 2. So let's see, here's the classic Windows. For example, let's start the README, which should open with the write. This is running DOSBox. So here's the classic more information about Windows, Microsoft Windows version 3.1. Of course you can use the touch screen. As you could see um, pretty fast you can use the cursor keys as usual. This is uh, especially interesting running Windows with an operating system other than Microsoft MS-DOS. Yeah, that's what we want to take a look at. Microsoft, oh, that was too far. Microsoft, Windows and MS-DOS work together as an integrated system. They were designed together and extensively tested together on a wide variety of computers and hardware configurations. Well, I bet they haven't tested it on the Pandora. Running Windows version 3.1 on an operating system other than MS-DOS could cause unexpected results of poor performance. Well, um... I don't have poor performance here and I don't have any unexpected results. I think it works a bit faster than, than it was working on my old 386. Um, I don't know why it's useful for, but it's quite some fun. Here's the normal calculator. I can do the normal things. Um, there's of course Solitaire Minesweeper. Some might remember Shifree. I know I'll play that on my Pandora, uh, on my uh, PC back then. That's that weird you she jumping game. I want to see someone who can jump like that over a log. Ouch, that must have hurt. Well, but it's fun and it works. And uh, there's also stars, for example. Yes, I know of that warning. So you can play Windows games, Windows 3.1 games. New game. Oh, I think uh, I didn't click it properly. So um, there's a tutorial. Let's begin the tutorial. I never played Stars before. Just heard that it's a nice game. So here's with hint. And as you can see it's also working. Um, you can also make the window smaller for example so that you can read everything down there. So full multitasking as good as multitasking was on MS-DOS. So of course there's also paintbrush. So if anybody of you wants to do some nice pixel art and love the windows paintbrush well you can actually do so or 
also working. So, um, I suggest you also take a look at the link where the guy played Civilization 2, the full Civilization 2 on the uh, on Windows 3.1 using QEMO because that was also pretty cool. That's it for today. A small well look into DOSBox running Windows because actually that was it's a pretty cool thing running Windows 3.1 that fast on a normal unit. See you soon with the next video.